Hello and welcome. My name is Laura and this is my friend Trudy. Uh, Trudy's a lot cuter than I am, but hopefully she won't steal the show too badly because what I have prepared, prepared for you today is a five minute standing balance challenge with an arm balance button at the very end. So if you have any warm-ups that you like to do for your wrists before balancing on your hands, um, go ahead and do those now. Pause the video if you need to, and when you're ready, come on back and we'll get started in mountain pose, please. You can start with your feet together. It's more traditional for mountain pose, or if you prefer, directly beneath your hips. Now our feet are the foundation of all our standing poses. So we want to check in with them to begin with and make sure we know what's going on down there and that they're active and energized and ready to work for us. So let's begin by spreading our toes and lifting them up. Feel how that engages the muscles on the top of your feet. And then you're going to spread your toes wide, place them back down and feel them gripping the floor. Now we can play with our balance a little bit here while we're still on two feet. Shift your weight forward. Feel how your toes grip the earth and catch you and prevent you from falling. Shift your weight back into your heels. Toes might even lift up again. We can do the same thing, shifting the weight side to side. And then finally, coming back center, spreading the toes wide once more and feeling our weight evenly distributed between our heels and the balls of our feet, the inside and the outsides of our feet. And we're gonna draw up through our legs. They need to be strong and engaged. So turn on your quads, slight tuck to the tailbone, engage your abdominal muscles. So you're gonna draw your navel in and up, a little squeeze to the glutes, right? We've got strong band muscles all the way around our core and they're gonna work for us and really support us and help us out in these balance poses. All right, just relax your shoulders, spread your collar your legs wide, arms relaxed at your sides, and we're ready to begin. We're just gently, slowly, and carefully gonna shift your weight into your left leg, floating your right knee. Nice. Now try to keep your hips level. We can use the breath here to help us out. We're going to exhale and extend your lifted leg. Nice. Inhale, reach the arms up. Now the breath is going to help us here again. The core is going to help us. We're going to exhale and pinwheel forward. Right? So your leg sweeps back, your torso and your arms come forward. And we are in warrior three. Stay right where you are. I'm just going to turn for the benefit of the camera. And in our warrior three, we want to turn everything to face the floor. So our shoulders are square to the floor. Our thigh, the top of the thigh, and that lifted leg points straight down. The toes point straight down. Draw in through your navel. Reach out through your fingertips. Reach out through your heel. Let's all inhale and sweep our arms wide. Coming into airplane pose. Now here's our challenge. You're going to exhale and you're going to turn to your right side. See if you can come into a floating half moon. Nice. Now here's where we feel the muscles in the sides of our core holding us up. We want to stay long in this pose. If you need to, you can touch your bottom hand down. If you fall out, that's okay. Just find your balance once again, come right back into it. If you want a little bit more here, bend your top leg. Okay, reach the hand back for your ankle, and then when you've got a hold of it, you can push the foot into the hand, press your knee back, feel a nice stretch through the front of that thigh, the quad, and the hip, show your cane pose. Nice. Now release. If you touch down like I did, engage the little side core muscles and use them to once more lift yourself up into a floating half moon, revolve back into your airplane. Again, reach the fingertips out, reach out through your heel, everything faces straight down, reach the arms forward. Once again, warrior three, and then we're going to inhale and we're going to rise up. Once more, bringing the knee high to your chest. This time, bring your hand down to the ankle, the 
This is familiar and maybe a little bit easier now that we're standing up. You can bring your hand to the inside of that back foot if you like. Helps us to open up the back shoulder a little more. Now lift up. Lift your heart. Lift your back heel. Press the foot into your hand. Reach out through your fingertips. Glorious dance to the pose. Well done. Let's try all of that on the other side. So once more, beginning in mountain. Feel your weight, your weight evenly distributed. And this time, we're going to shift the weight into your right leg. Left knee is high. Nice. Keep your hips level. Exhale. Extend the leg. Nice. Inhale up. Beautiful. Exhale. Draw in through your navel. Pinwheel. Reaching out through your fingertips now. Lifting up through the thigh of that back leg. Extending out through the sole of your foot. Your longest, your strongest warrior three. I'm going to turn once more. Just so the camera can see me a little bit better. And then we're all going to inhale. We're going to swim our arms out into airplane pose. And just soar. Beautiful. Now turning. This time to your left side. See if we can float our half moon. If not, you can touch down. It's perfectly fine. We meet our balance poses every day, wherever we're at. Some days the balance is there, some days it's not. We just keep working with it, playing with it, and having fun. All right, a little extra. Draw that top knee in. Reach back through the ankle. And then when you've got a hold of it, press the foot back into the hand, open the hip, nice little stretch in sugar cane, and release. Beautiful. If you touch down, float your half moon once more, rotate back into airplane. Let's find our strength here. Again, engaging the abdominals to draw your navel in to support your lower back. Reach out through your heels. Swim your arms forward, reach out through your fingertips, inhale and rise up, knee to chest. Beautiful. Let's find that dancer pose once more. So the hand reaches down, grabs the ankle, it can be on the outside of the foot or to open up the shoulder of the inside. Press foot into hand, lift your heart, reach through your fingertips and smile. Nice. Let's go back into mountain. One more time. This time as we inhale, we're gonna lift up onto the balls of our feet. Nice. Exhale and slowly lower. Stay on the balls of your feet. I'm just gonna drop our hips down to our heels. Nice. Now spread your knees wide. Hands come down directly underneath our shoulders. Now, when we're balancing on our feet, we're doing our standing balances. Our feet are the foundation of our pose. In arm balances, it's the hands. So just as we checked in with our feet, we're going to check in with our hands now. We're going to make sure that we have weight evenly distributed across the base knuckles on both hands. And then we're going to grip the floor with our fingertips, just like our toes can catch us when we're falling in standing balance. Our fingertips can help us out in our arm balances. I'm going to turn, give you a side on view here. All we're going to do is lift your hips nice and high. You're going to bring your knees in as close to the armpits as you can. So try to tuck them up high onto your triceps. Shift your weight forward. And when you're ready, float your feet. Beautiful. Make that crow pose a little stronger by lifting through your abdominals, squeezing your heels up to your butt. Nice. Shoot back. And well done.